I had this crazy idea to compare my 5,000 pound cinema camera to my iPhone 11. I wanted to see if I could make something look as good with a phone as I usually do with my expensive camera. Lately I've been creating a lot of drinks commercials and I've been looking for different ways to make them stand out. I've gained a lot of knowledge trying to make them look as best as possible, from how to light it to the best framing. It would be interesting to put these understandings to practice on a phone. C200 uh, and the iPhone. The goal is to see how close I can make them look. So I'm gonna limit what I'm gonna do with the camera to what the phone can do. And I'm gonna try and make both commercials look exactly the same. For today's experiment, we're only looking at two short clips. And it goes to see if you, the audience, can tell which is which. So here they are, clip number one. Now, clip number two. Can you tell which one is the phone and which one is the camera? Give your guesses down in the comments. I'll give you five seconds. Done? Okay, so number one was the cinema camera and number two was the phone. I was personally quite surprised with the quality out of the phone. It was a lot better than I expected. And even though you can tell the difference in the footage, the quality from the phone is quite surprising. It really shows that the camera in these phones have come a long way. But more than anything, I believe that knowing the camera you have at hand is a key to a great image. It doesn't matter if you have an incredibly expensive camera or just your phone. Knowing how to light a scene, how to expose your shot, to grade, to be comfortable with the footage you shot, that's what makes a great camera. That's what creates a beautiful image. We're always caught up in the new cameras, new specs, and new gags coming out. We don't spend enough time learning about the camera that we have at our disposal. That may explain why so much of the time that we see other people's footage, it looks better than what we made. You're too busy looking at what your neighbor has, that you're not spending enough time improving your skills on your camera. You should know your camera with the back of your hand. You should know how to properly expose on your camera. You should know how to take the image that you want out of whatever camera you have. Because it doesn't matter if you have uh, old DSLR or the brand new 6K whatever camera, being able and understanding how to create an image to captivate an emotion, that is your job. Understanding how to do that with the tools you have should be your number one priority. So for specs, I shot this video in 4K 8-bit on the Canon C200. And I use Filmic Pro on my phone, shooting 4K as well. The Canon C200 can shoot up to 4K 12-bit in RAW, which would have made the footage a lot better. Using Filmic Pro on the iPhone gives you a lot more control over the image, making it the best way to capture video on the phone. And I wanted to try and make these clips look as close to each other as possible. But not by downgrading the C200, but by elevating the iPhone. This was a great exercise for me, and if you have the chance, I would highly recommend that you do something similar. This is a great way to understand your camera in a lot more depth. Thank you for watching. I ask if you enjoyed this video to consider hitting the like button and subscribing. But I said, that's all I have for you today. I'll see you next Monday. Goodbye.